I'm going to do a different video here and it's I'm going to go over these knives real quick but really this is not going to be about knives it's going to be about this stuff here Sugru. so we'll get to that in a second but here's but what I didn't like is you can see this is very very textured like if you put force on it you, you get a fair amount of grip you know so that, that's actually really good so I got this guy but you can see although it, it's got the print on there it's not entirely smooth but it's very smooth and I don't like that so I contacted Benchmade and said hey what's the deal and what's going to happen if I drop this blade and this handle since this handle is perfect for my intended purpose and all I really wanted was a different blade can I just do that he said no somehow some way this clip is different than this clip they look the same to me but somehow they're different so if I try and put the blade from the smooth handle into the one with the textured handle it's going to scratch up the blade and gouge it out and gouge it up a little bit towards the end there where the clip screws are so okay oh and they said oh avoid the warranty okay so we don't want that so I had had this stuff around the Suguru stuff and what it is is they say it's a moldable glue so it comes in little packets like this and this is actually expired and then you can buy packets of it like this which is this is a multicolor so each one of these is a different colored one uh, or you can just buy the black and white packets so it's just eight of the black and whites here so since this is a moldable glue I'm going to attempt to take some of this and put some of it on a smooth handle I really don't know if it's even going to stick I've tried it on a bunch of surfaces around the house before and most smooth things it did it didn't not stick it just it seems like it really needs something with a little bit of texture to really get it in there and grip on it good but I'm going to try it with this and then I'll leave half of it probably half of it smooth because it'll still have a little bit of a rubbery texture and then I'm going to take a file and just try and make an imprint so this half will probably be smooth and then I'll just try and probably I think this is the sharpest side I have right there take that back here and just see how that works to make a little imprint to add some texturing to it there so Okay, so now I have to leave this alone for 24 hours. Let's see how I do with that. And maybe I can find a use for this, this little bit that's left. Okay, so we've got our knife here with the uh, Suguru on the handle there. And it's been a little bit more than 24 hours, which is what they say is. So let's take a look. I just want to see basically, so I did not try and had texture to this point but then down here I had a, uh, a file and you can see it it did take the texture pretty well but how's it sticking on there so let's see if I can it seems like it's holding the texture so I'm gonna carry this for at least for this week maybe longer 
uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so we're at about two and a half or three weeks now, I think it is. And there is one little piece that came off right there. But I mean, I really had to kind of use some oomph to get that to come off. But the rest of it is, the rest of it is staying in place pretty well. I haven't had any trouble with it. I was kind of worried it was just going to slide right off. And you can see right right in here it looks like it was starting to but it didn't I just had it a little bit thicker there I guess but I think it's just a little bit thicker right there but you can see too the texture in here but you can see also the texturing held up now this part I left smooth intentionally. I just want to see how it would hold up, see if there's any difference. And it does improve, even just that does improve, is an improvement over this. Very smooth. Uh, you know, there's a significant more texture. But this is a bit more of an improvement here. So this is where I just took a file and just pressed it straight onto the wet suger there. Or the not quite dry suger. It's not really wet wet. And even though this is kind of kind of sort on that screw, it's not enough to really to really interfere with opening the knife. This is not an assisted knife. I just kind of thumb flicked it out, and I left that open intentionally there. Okay, so it's been a been a while now that this stuff has been on there, and you can see. That didn't come off. I cut that off. The way they say to remove the sugru is to cut it off. So this is uh that is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of a rubbery type substance once it dries. So it seemed pretty durable though. Nothing came off the whole time. It's uh, been another week since the last update in here. And it's, uh, it's still holding, like I said, all this. There was that little tiny section there that I pushed off, like kind of digging my nail right up to the underside of it and then shoving it off. And then this uh, part in here I actually cut off using a, a knife. So I wanted to try something else. I just thought about it. And then I... See if I could pry the screwdriver under it. And you could see kind of rubbery and I wonder if I can just peel it off no not quite okay so I got it I think pretty close to as clean as I can get it and the stuff actually bonds to itself too so if there's a little residue it really it's okay and you can see you can see there is a little bit left but I got it out of there and you can see there are a few marks like right there from where my knife blade hit when I was trying to scrape it off. But overall, it came off pretty easy. That just took a couple minutes. I was just trying to be thorough, probably more thorough than I really needed to be. So I'm gonna try and do probably something similar. I'll probably just do a little piece there and then a stripe down here, like a fairly broad stripe down here. I may I don't think I really need to bring it in that far down, you know, so probably just a small piece here and then a thin stripe here. You can tell the edge is kind of, yeah, you can see it really good there. It continues down all the way down to here, really. So I want to put a little bit there, but I want to make sure it's out of the way of the pocket clip. And we'll see how that wears. I probably should have tried that before when I had that open packet already, because this is the side that clips into the pocket. So I forget about this. This stuff definitely has an odor to it. Very, uh, I, I don't know, rubber pool, something, something. And you can see it, it does look a little bit wetter than the other stuff. Not 
not taken texture as well and it actually looks really bad uh, but this is not about cosmetics and even though it's not taking texture as well you know it's not a surprise because there's just not as much material to work with there um, it is still taking it pretty well and if you remember how I had it before where this part was smooth that was actually significantly better than the handle as it was base um, it, it's not really a rubberized feeling like if you've ever used a, a hoe grip or on a knife or a gun or something but it, it's a uh, it's it I, I don't know how to describe it your hand your finger doesn't really sink into it but it does give a nice uh, a much nicer grip than than this so I'm gonna let this dry this has to cure for 24 hours and then I'll start carrying it again I really don't like pocket clips and I was gonna use a different color but since I've got this one open already what I want to do is just kind of build up a little material between here and here so that I can use it to uh, index off of so that I know where so that I know where the uh, the button is to change modes even with no pocket clip on Both of them do not look good, but we're going to let them sit for 24 hours and uh, see what happens. Now i got to figure out what to do with this little tiny bit that's left. Oh, I have this other knife here. I don't think it's going to stick to this, but let's try. But we get the texture back. There we go. All right, so we got, so we're gonna let these cure. Just check the clock. Yeah, so I'm gonna be carrying all different stuff for work tomorrow. So we'll see how all this turns out. Okay, so at this point, it's been 24 hours, a little bit more than 24 hours. So the Sugru stuff, uh, according to their direction, should be fully cured at this point. So start here, I have the three things that I did. Start here with the primary thing I was really worried about was the knife that I carry for work. And you can see it's not real pretty. But again, I'm going for function and not look. So I'm just gonna do basically the same test right now that I did before when I had it all under a mask glob thick. And because I don't know, I haven't played with it enough to know that if it will stick better as before when I did this pushing I got I was really surprised at how well it stuck I didn't think it would stick at all and seeing me scrape it you know it obviously did stick pretty well so it seems like it's uh, working just as good with this thinner layer here try this this one was a little so this is similar to what I had had on it before up around in this area and I mean, I had to like take my nail and push down and over to get this little spot that had been up here off. So a little piece right there is kind of weird, but it's not coming off. All right, so that, and this would be a place that I'd be worried about because there's a nice big edge there. It's kind of, kind of thick right there. So that might be a place where I have problems. And they did a decent job of keeping it on there, but just didn't want it on the steel. And it's scraping off the steel pretty easy there in the side. And that's fine, I don't want it on there anyhow. Okay, so seems to open okay. 
no, uh, I didn't screw anything up too bad. Got a little bit had been in there. Okay, so that looks good. So let's check out my other things here. So I, I mean, this was, I think, less than half of the packet right there to do all that. So then the other thing I wanted was uh, a flashlight. And I didn't quite get this stamped down and see as well as I wanted to. But when I put it on, I just kind of picked it up. and So it's somewhat molded to my hand. Sorry for the flash there. Somewhat molded to my hand. I mean, I've got, you see that there. But let's see if it will actually stick. And I had a little tiny bit there. So, it's sort of sticking there, more or less. Well, no, not sort of, it just is. So that's good. And this thicker part, I'd be a little surprised if that came off right away. Okay, so that's doing good there. And I had stuck it to aluminum before, so I'm not entirely surprised that uh, it would stick to that. Now the one I'm really not sure about is this. This is the one-handed tracker. And I don't carry this a lot, but I do really like it. It's very easy to open with either hand. Uh, I get the lock in the middle there. I always forget frame lock, liner lock, whatever. Uh, but it's a pretty decent little knife. And the handles have some texture on it, but if your hands are very dry or very wet, and definitely very dry. It's not real grippy. It's not bad. And honestly, the design of the handle and what I would use this particular knife for, I'm not super worried about it. But I had a little tiny bit left. So I put it in areas you can see when you grip it there. Either your fingers are on it a little bit, it's not a huge amount, or if you're using it with a closed thumb with your left hand your thumb falls there naturally and on the other side you can see it's kinda right there on where the meat is so you get a little very small area but it does add a little bit of grip there and then of course with the right hand you get a pretty significant amount of, of uh, traction there and then it uh, just grips with the for me my middle finger there so a little bit more up here would probably be good and probably just a stripe down the side there that's pretty good and I'm not going to experiment too much with the blade open it's actually a pretty good sized blade Let's see the pass the push okay well that's already doing a little bit better than I thought it would so I don't know if it's the material is okay for it or if it's because yeah you can see there is some texture to this or if it's just sticking into the texture Yeah, so this is already doing better than I thought it would, which is pretty cool. Okay, so it passed this just simple in-the-house test. So this is the knife I usually carry for work now, and this is just something I occasionally carry, and this is my full-time work flashlight. So I'm going to go ahead and I will carry this in a little sheath that I have for it, and then this will clip onto my pocket like always. And this is always in the same sheath, and this will clip on the same pocket. And I guess to test this guy out, when I'm at work, I can just go ahead and, uh, when I'm at work, I guess I can just go ahead and just drop that in my pocket. So it'll be in there either, either this knife will be rubbing on it a little bit, or my keys, or whatever else is in the pocket. And that'll give that a, a little bit of a better test. Uh, this does have a key ring, like, most Swiss Army knives, but there's no pocket clip. There's no place to put a pocket clip on it, and it didn't come with a sheath. This really is just a like a medium-sized pocket knife with Swiss Army tools on it. So we'll give it a we'll give it a shot, and probably another week or at least another week. So the end of this week, I'll probably give it two or three weeks because I want to give it a, a fair test, and we'll come back to this then. 
All right, so at this point we're at, I believe it's about five weeks that I've been using these and uh, everything so far seems okay. And to be fair, I do like this knife, but I just don't carry it a whole lot. So we'll go ahead and start with that. And I'm using a, uh, just a cardboard cutout from a, like a case of soda or canned whatever, uh, just so I don't cut up my very incredibly fancy uh, ten dollar folding table there and I thought about it and now I'm not even gonna open the blades so I don't have anything to really cut into where it would put a lot of pressure on there so I'm just gonna jam into this with the blades closed and we'll test it out that way but before we even get to that part let's just try a, a more simple test let's try and see if we can press it off and this, I, when I did carry it, I carried it for two weeks, I think. So I didn't carry it for the full five weeks. But I did have other stuff in my pocket, sometimes keys. Most of the time it was just odds and ends that I carry, but then I made sure I put uh, some change, like $1.50, $1.75 and quarters in there so it would take some abuse. Now, i test it out here and see Put some good pressure on it and see if any of this actually slides off. So it's not perfect grip. My finger does still slip on there. I guess we can use, we can try it a little bit on the cardboard here. And I keep turning to look at the screen. Better watch what I'm doing so I don't cut my hand off. So that that did seem a little better. It's uh, my hands aren't as dry as they sometimes are, but it seemed like, like it's a little more grippy. Let's do a couple more with the other hand. Yeah, so that's that's really good there. And go ahead and try it. So it's holding pretty well as opposed to see how my hand slips but when it gets to that so it's not perfect but it is gripping much much better and I don't know what the uh, scales on this particular knife are made out of some type of plasticky material it's kind of shiny so I would guess it's oil based somewhere down the line but I don't actually know so I'm gonna call that one a success and I'm very surprised this is the one I most thought it would slip off of I kind of thought I would get it and just be able to push it off just by doing that and it's not like, you know, you saw me do it. I cut a little bit. And then the, uh, the bench made here, nothing's really come off of it. I mean, when I did the initial one, there was some more up here and I pushed that off, but I really had to use some force to do it. It didn't just come right off on its own. And you can see the uh, hook still comes out and it's not really interfering even though there's a little nub in there and you can see this open smoothly the other side and nothing's really come loose that I can see I mean it's all just still on there and with this one I kind of expected to for some of this to push off because the surface is so smooth and you can see there is some somewhere there. So I think eventually this will come off. But I think I'd have to, if I wanted to do it now, I'd have to wedge something under there. Uh, maybe a knife to cut it off like I was doing before. And it did hold the, uh, the texturing the way I did it, you know, with the file there. Uh, so it's not as much texturing as I did the first time, but it's thinner. So it's closer to the profile of the knife. So we'll try the same thing here. It's pushing down. You can see very easily slips past the uh, smooth grip that's on there. And it's not that I'm not slipping now. It's that there's a lot more resistance with the same amount of pressure push there. So that makes me a lot more comfortable. And a little bit is coming loose there. And this was clipped onto my pocket every day, so my right pocket on my pants. And it would be a pocket that also had a lot of stuff in it. 
So there is a little bit of wear right in there. So it's not perfect, but it is holding up. And let's see. I don't know. Push on it this side here. Ah, try not to cut my thumb open. And this is still totally going to... So if you're doing something stupid like this, I'm making sure my fingers are not coming down here on the edge side. My fingers are only on the side, so I'm not being crazy. And it's holding pretty well. So we'll do the same thing here. Okay, and uh, my $50 Swiss Army knife actually cut through that easier. get a little flimsy now there we go so that seems okay to me and again the reason I went with it like this is right-handed you're making full contact with all of your fingertips there and then on the other side you're making pretty significant contact and then left hand you got significant contact these two fingers are making full contact on the tips. These two fingers make full contact on the tips and you get a lot of contact with the meat on your uh, palm side there. So, all right, so that, that one seems to be successful. I don't know how long this is gonna hold up, but even if it's just this side that holds up and this side starts giving out, that's still a drastic improvement. Uh, more left-handed than right-handed improvements. But it still opens nice and smooth even with that stuff on there some of it when i first did it so when i first did it, it had gotten up along the edges here and it's all smoothed out now so that one i'm pretty happy with there and then the flashlight here so this is the light i've been carrying for work this is a phoenix pd 35 v2 so i've been using this for work since i got it and the stuff has not come off you can see it does not look pretty not that any of the other does, but I tend to carry this in my right hip. So I'm back here. So I'm back here on this side of the camera and it will sit on my hip like that. And then when I pull it out, this is all just naturally, see my fingers on the side switch and I can hit the thumb switch there. So it's all just naturally in place. So when I put it on, I squeezed it and it made just a good solid grip and this helps a little bit but really i just had a little tiny bit left that's the reason that's on there so let's see if we can push this off and that's holding and this looked like this little nubbin looked like it was going to come off earlier uh, in the week you can see a little bit of a gap there So I think eventually this will come off. I think eventually that part will come off. But just hanging in there now and you can see a gap on the top there too. But the rest of it looks like, I mean, there's little, the rest of it looks like, I mean, there's little pieces there, but it's not coming off, you know? It's, I was really happy about that actually. So the initial idea was just to help me index where the uh, side switch is on an underhanded grip because that's how I use it most of the time uh, but it ended up being something that actually makes it a little more comfortable so on the very occasional times where I do have to use it for more than a minute or two you know it's a little bit more comfortable to hold uh, because it's more or less molded to my hand at this point to my finger grips so basically I just made finger grooves, really ugly finger grooves. So, okay, so that's, that's holding up. And this has gotten wet a few times. I didn't drop it in puddles recently, but since I put this stuff on, but. 
and you can see there it's a much better anti-roll than comes with the light there so that's another bonus I guess so I'm pretty happy with the Suger stuff overall I'll put a link for their for the seller's uh, website in the description there uh, this is the stuff that I used it for if you go on their site there's actually a lot of different stuff people are using it for uh, minor shoe repairs you know if you just got uh, your shoe flap is coming undone instead of throwing out your $80 tennis shoes. Instead of throwing out your $80 tennis shoes, you can uh, use some of that stuff to kind of patch it up like you might shoe goo or something or whatever else is out there now, rubber cement. But this stuff seems to be a bit more durable and it's got better waterproofing abilities than that. And there's I don't know. There's literally a hundred different things on their site and there's probably a million uses for it. But this is what I thought of. Okay. So this one's done. I'm going to call all these at least a 75% uh, success. The flashlight I'll say is a hundred percent. The knife I'll say is 95. The bench bay is 95. And this is, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess for what I did, I have to call it a hundred because nothing came off. So that's, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Very inexpensive fix. And if you got any questions, I don't know a lot about the Suguru stuff, but I'll try and answer it for you. And if you found this useful at all, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. So hopefully sometime in the next two weeks or so, I'll have another review up and I'll see you then.